Hello everyone. So welcome to the channel of RD Automation Learning. So in this video, we are going to tell you when can we expect the calls, the number of calls in the IT industry to begin or to increase, right? And we have got some data also that will, you know, uh, will show it to you why we feel that during this particular time period, the you can expect calls to increase, right? Now, let's look at the situation first. And let's look at the current situation, the current job market that is going on in the IT industry. And then we will analyze how the situation will be improving, right? So see, uh, if you see the time of uh, recession that is going on, it, it has been more than a year that we are hearing this particular word, right? More of if you see in winter 2020-22, right? 2022, we came to know that, uh, you know, the startups started laying off, first of all, the employees. And the impact was first noticeable in the education sector, ed tech sector, right? With around 22 ed tech startups, including five out of seven unicorns, they let go of their, you know, nearly 9,000 to 10,000 employees, right? So it had started with the startup companies. And then there were few of the people uh, in the uh, you know business who were telling that uh, from 2023 we won't be seeing such kind of things. But in 2023 the situation has worsened. The number of people who have got laid off in 2023 are compared more are, are more compared to the people who were laid off in the entire year of 2022. Now if you see 2023, so. So half of the year has passed away. Six months have passed, six months are still pending. But if you see the count of people, the employees that have got laid off in this particular year are more than the entire 2022 year. That's why the situation is not has not improved at all, right? In 2023, if you see layoffs have, you know, taken tens of thousands of tech workers, their jobs, and this time, even the big names have come up in 2023. Those include Google, Amazon, Microsoft, Yahoo, Meta, and Zoom. Startups too have announced cuts across all the sectors from crypto to enterprise SaaS, right? Now, there are different reasons that are given behind this particular um, layoffs. Some are telling that they overhired people during pandemic. Some are telling that there were uh, less scope of the project. Some are telling the COVID-19 pandemic itself was a problem. Some are telling the global economic conditions are affecting these layoffs. So there are a number of reasons behind which these layoffs have been told, right? And in India, nearly 27,000 people have got laid off so far, right? So in India, if you see the, the India's layoffs now account for around 5% of the global startup layoffs, right? Now, if you see in entire year of 2000, 2023, so let me show you some data behind this, right? See, there are up to date. So this is on a very higher uh, note. You know, this is actually, there is a website layoffs.fyi from which they have taken out this data. And it seems up to date, more than 2 lakh people have got laid off, right? And out of it, from India, 27,000 people have got laid off till now. Now, if you see this particular month, January 2023, February 2023, so in all these months, the layoffs are continuing. See, in January, the number of layoffs are tremendously high, 84,000. February comes to 36,000. March comes to 37,000. April comes to 17,000, right? And May comes to 14,000. Now, in June also, as of June 29, uh, there is a company called Neatic that laid off almost 230 employees, right? And last year, they had laid off 90 employees. Plex is one more company. It laid off almost 20% of their staff or 37 employees, right? Grab is one of the company. It has laid off more than 1,000 people or 11% of its staff. And there is OLX Group. They announced on June 20 that they will be cutting around 800 jobs globally, right? Mojo Care is there. They announced on June 18 that they will be laying off 150 employees, right? Tada is there. They laid off 50% of its staff, you can 45 people. So, right, 90 people are there. Better.com, it's 
has laid off its entire real estate team itself, right? So this was a, one of the very big layoff, right? Now, if you see the count, you know, comparatively is decreasing since January. So January, February, March, it was at the peak. April, May, April, it has reduced. May, it has further reduced. Now, if you see June, so it has further reduced, right? So that's why we feel that the number of layoffs are decreasing. Now, it means that people might be expecting calls or jobs to come maybe after two to three months because now this overhiring the people, the companies, they felt the people who were overhired during the COVID time, who were overpaid during the COVID time, they have already got laid off. So now that balancing situation is near. So once we achieve that balance situation, number of projects equal to number of people plus or minus sum of the workbench, then if the new projects are coming, then automatically the hiring will start. Now, second aspect that we have to consider with respect to 2023 year is none of the new startup has come up. You know, a major startup that has got launched so far in 2023, right? So which is why we feel that, you know, now, maybe after during winter itself, there are chances that they might get started. And in the history also, if you see whenever this recession or this layoffs kind of thing has happened. So the impact is there till one year, one year, uh, one year and three months above plus or minus two or three months, right? So now if you see the 2022 year had lay layoffs, those were started in big winter. Right. So by winter, it's almost going to be one year. Right. And now the situation is expected to improve because 12, 10 to 12 months is a cycle in which the IT industry needs to improve and it will improve. We have seen this in the past in 2008 also. Right. So now is the, uh, you know, one or two months further that we can expect the calls will be less. And it's not like the calls are completely not there. Right. So uh, we have got some of the success stories also of the people who have got selected. The calls are there. The vacancies are there. But in 2022, we saw that people were getting five to ten offers. They were able to do shop. They were able to, sh uh, you know, do shopping for various offers in various companies, which has very much reduced. The calls have decreased. The people selecting in the final round have decreased. The interview calls scheduling itself has decreased, which has taken the entire thing into the picture, right? So, which is why you can expect the calls are reduced because of all this situation, right? And it's not like only the people who are in software testing field who are getting affected. It's not like that. The entire industry is getting affected, whether you are in development or you are doing front end, you are doing back end, you are doing some, uh, uh, you know, um, business analyst or project management level of thing. So the entire job market is down for all the technologies, for all the people, right? It's not like it's only for one or part one thing or particular profile of the people. It's not like that, but it is for everyone. So uh, rather than thinking that, you know, or rather than going into the mode of or zone of overthinking, I would suggest now you should definitely start preparing if you haven't start preparation. Give mock interviews on our channel. The email address is rdautomationlearning.gmail.com and get some confidence. Get clarity on areas in which you need to improve. Get clarity on the things which you still have to revisit rather than, you know, taking a hell out of, uh, you know, load of the situation which is not in control, right? See, so many employees are got laid off. This is not in control. But what is in control for you is when the calls will start, you should be able to clear the interview, right? And the first round itself, because if you won't be able to clear, then you might be able or eligible to sit for that company after six months, right? So which is again a cycle of six months will get introduced. So now is the time to prepare. Now is the time to revisit the concepts and to make sure that you are prepared for the interviews. Right. So thank you so much for watching this video. This was a short video on uh, why the calls are not yet increasing and when you can expect the calls to increase. What is the current job market situation? What is the current situation for the IT industry? 
right so these things have been covered in this particular video thank you so much for watching this video and stay tuned for more updates